I've been shooting the Fuji X100V since December of 2020, and man, has it been a great companion to bring around. The built-in 35mm full-frame equivalent lens is extremely small and compact on this Fuji X100V, and this lens really fits my style and workflow so well. But over time while shooting with it, I started to get a tiny bit bored with the 35mm full-frame equivalent length, and I wanted to try something a little bit different. And unfortunately, you can't swap lenses with the Fuji X100V due to its nature of having a built-in lens. And it's no downside to the X100V, that's just kind of a quirk of it, but thankfully Fuji solved this problem for us. This right here is the Fujifilm WCL X100 Mark II, and it is a wide angle conversion lens that screws onto the front of the Fuji X100V, essentially multiplying the lens by 0.8x, making the 23 millimeter lens a 19 millimeter, so in full frame terms, going from 35 to 28. And I've been using this little lens over these last six months, trying to figure out if I actually prefer 28 millimeters or 35 millimeters. So why did I pick up this wide angle conversion lens from Fuji? Like I said, I was getting a little bit bored with the 35 millimeter focal length and I just wanted to switch things up. I still think 35 millimeters is kind of my go-to for a daily walk around setup and the limitations of the X100V is great, but I was just feeling just creatively just stale and I wanted to try something a little bit different. Fujifilm also makes a TCL which goes from 35 to a 50 and I didn't really want to try something a little bit tighter even though I really enjoy 50. I figured 28 millimeters would be a better walk around length for my kind of style than a 50. And 20 is pretty much as wide as I would normally go, especially for photography. I enjoy 20 to 24 for video. That's just a little bit too extreme for photo because you really need to be up close. And I don't really like shooting landscapes on wide. So 28 is kind of like in between a super wide and wide. I guess 35 millimeters is technically wide, but 35 is kind of like the sweet spot. And I really enjoy the simplicity of the X100V being able to have a built-in lens that's 35 millimeters and it's a pancake lens. It is so tiny on this camera, but having the versatility of being able to screw on a conversion lens on the front really opens up a whole new horizon for me with this camera because I could put this converter on there and have a 20 millimeter lens, or I could take it off and just have the stock 35 millimeter lens. And I didn't get into the x 100V to buy all these different lenses. I wanted something simple and minimal and compact. And I feel like the WCO does a great job of giving me the variety that I want, but not really impeding on the compact and minimal workflow that I desire. So the design and build of this conversion lens is really solid. It's made by Fujifilm, so it naturally pairs really well with their X100V because it's designed for it. But the build quality feels really solid. It feels nice in hand, it has a nice little bit of heft to it. I, for some reason, thought it would be a lot bigger because wide angle lenses tend to be like thicker and wider, but this lens is extremely small. So it just fits really well in this X100V. Alongside that, this adapter comes with a front and rear cap to make sure the glass stays clean. It also comes with a nifty little pouch to make sure the entire body stays scratch free. And it's nice because I have a dedicated spot to carry this conversion lens around. So I just throw it in my bag, in my car, wherever. I know it's gonna stay organized and pretty much decently protected. I don't plan on dropping it, so I'm not too worried about that. But having that little pouch is just a nice little touch from Fujifilm. This adapter really does look at home on my Fuji X100V. It does stick out a little bit farther, so it makes the footprint a bit bigger than I'm used to, which kind of might get annoying. And then with the extra heft on it, it does make the camera tilt a little bit forward, but pretty much any camera besides maybe the Ricoh GR3 is gonna protrude forward because lenses are usually heavier and longer than camera bodies. So so naturally the center of gravity gets pushed out. This adapter also comes with a front ring so you can attach any filters or lens hood to it. And I think with this adapter, it should weather seal the X100V. You should be fine, but I would definitely test it out before. I haven't had any issues with the weather sealing of it. I guess it's better than not having anything on the front of the built-in lens. Another thing to keep in mind is that with the extra footprint, it does block the built-in flash. So with any lens hood that you're gonna add onto the X100V's built-in lens, most of them should block the built-in flash by a little bit but with this adapter it just adds like this really dark shadow on any close subject so if you shoot with flashes a lot I would definitely keep that in mind and then lastly this lens also gives you a nice place to rest your left hand when shooting this camera when I only have the built-in lens it just kind of feels awkward to place my left hand somewhere it doesn't feel at home underneath the lens and I could kind of cradle the camera, but that's kind of weird. But with this extra footprint of this adapter, it really gives you a nice little spot that is just naturally ergonomic when shooting with cameras to just hold your hand underneath the lens and support it. And it just feels nice and at home. So if you're used to that kind of workflow, you actually might enjoy the extra footprint that this offers. For the image quality, I haven't really noticed anything too drastically different between the built-in lens and this adapter. Naturally, you're adding glass in front of the lens, so there should be degradations with it, but I haven't noticed anything. This is a well-designed piece of glass from Fujifilm, and the image quality that I've gotten out of this adapter looks pretty much identical to what I've taken with the built-in lens. 
The only issue that I found with this wide angle adapter is through the autofocus. And I've heard of other people having no issues with the autofocus, but for some reason I miss a lot of shots with this wide angle adapter. And it could be because the autofocus technology has to go through another series of glass to kind of read what's happening in front of the camera. I don't know, it's not terrible. I've just noticed that it doesn't feel as snappy and quick as it does with the built-in lens. But for me, I want my autofocus to be snappy and to hit because I've definitely missed really good moments and frames that I really wanted to have in focus because this adapter somehow made the process a lot slower and thus missing focus. So your mileage may vary. You could just manual focus while using this adapter. But for me, I really don't like the process of manual focusing with the X100V. That's a whole different story. So the focal length of 28 millimeters took me a long time to get used to. I wasn't really excited about it up front. It just felt really wide for what I'm used to. I really enjoy 35 millimeters and it feels like the perfect balance of being compressed and also really wide. But over time, I started to really appreciate 28 millimeters. I just started to learn that I had to be a lot closer to my subjects than I was used to. Everything just felt so far away and distant, especially landscape shots. So I knew I needed to have something in the foreground to make things interesting. And it was actually a really fun process to learn to shoot with 28 millimeters because it gave me an extra tool in my photography kit just to see life through a different lens, no pun intended. I really enjoyed being able to let more into the frame and especially having your subjects up close, any kind of portraits or just lifestyle shot just felt more immersive because I had more in frame, but I was naturally closer to my subject due to the nature of the wide angle lens. And being close to your subject like that just feels really intimate and personal. And for me, it feels like I'm there in the moment when I'm looking at that photo. So I'm really glad that I spent time with this 28 because it just offered a completely different shooting style than what I'm used to. So overall, after these six months, do I recommend this wide angle adapter? I think yes. I think if you really enjoy the Fuji X100V and the workflow of having a simple kind of point and shoot camera, and you don't really want to have all these interchangeable lenses, I think, yes, you should 100% add this WCL to your kit because you get a small little lens for $350 that takes up no room in your bag, but it gives you a completely different focal length to choose from instead of just shooting at the 35 the entire time. And if you want, you can also add the TCL and have a 50 in there. So then you have three lenses kind of in one, but then you're only carrying two extras because the Fuji has the built-in lens. It's a solid little lens. It doesn't take up too much space on camera. The image quality seems pretty dead on and the autofocus might be hit or miss depending on kind of your settings and what you're shooting. But if you're worried about that, you can always just shoot in manual focus or just take extra care when shooting in autofocus. There's not too many options out there for cheap Fuji cameras that you can have a 35 and a 28 for under $2,000. I guess the closest option might be the Fuji XE4, but the build quality of that definitely feels a bit cheaper than the X100V. So all in all, with the Fuji XE4, if you want to have two lenses in your kit, you're looking at $2,200 plus tax MSRP versus the Fuji X100V which is 1400 plus a WCL, which is 350. So 1750 plus tax. I think you can't go wrong with the X100V, especially since the 35 millimeters is a pretty popular focal length to have as a built-in lens. They can always just supplement it with these little adapters. I guess if you really want a 20 millimeter lens built into the camera, you can always look at the Ricoh GR3. It's a thousand dollars, but there's a lot of pros and cons to shooting on the Ricoh versus the Fuji, which I want to save that for a different video later on. So if you're feeling bored or creatively stuck with 35 millimeters, I would hundred percent pick this thing up and then maybe the TCL as well. But I think for the size and weight and price and the focal length, you can't go wrong with this little 19 millimeter lens from Fuji. 28 millimeters is a really fun focal length for daily life shooting. And if you're not really used to it, I would 100% give it a try. So overall, it's been a great experience of this wide angle adapter, but I do plan on leaving it aside. I really enjoy having the 28 millimeter focal length because that extra bit of width is really appreciated. I feel like my photos just feel a little bit more immersive and I love of just having that much more in frame. I don't like having the autofocus performance a little bit hindered and I might be doing something wrong so that might be my bad and not this but I have a feeling it's this and I don't like having that extra little bit of weight and length to the front of my camera. I really enjoy how pocketable the X100V is. In fact, I want something even more pocketable, but I just really enjoy the 35 millimeter focal length and I feel like I've kind of had a bigger appreciation for 35 millimeters after working with this 28. 28 is just really, really wide and I'm just not really a wide angle person. Again, 28 is as wide as I would 
normally go, 35 is just perfect for what I want to shoot. I want to shoot daily life, BTS, thumbnails for YouTube videos, and I'm not trying to just shoot all of these grand picturesque things. I feel like 35 just really lends well to the kind of style that I'm going for. But that's just my preference though. You may really enjoy this 28 millimeter focal length, or you might wish that they had a 24 or a 20 full frame equivalent wide angle adapter. Either way, I think this conversion lens is a great addition to your kit. And if you want to swap things up even more, I would get the TCL. So then you can have a 28, 35 and 50 and just carry around two little adapters and away you go. I really appreciate that Fuji made these really tiny and small because if you're using the X100V, you want to have a small and quick and nimble workflow. So if these adapters were huge, I don't think many people would want to pick them up or carry them around. So with all that, I want to leave you guys with all the photos that I took over these last six months with this wide angle adapter. Everything I shot was in raw and three by two, so full sensor. And then I edited everything in Lightroom with my Fuji presets. I'll leave links to these presets down below if you want to check those out. And yeah, if you guys have any questions about this wide angle adapter or the Fuji or the Ricoh or anything, send me a DM, leave a comment down below. I'd love to chat through that with you guys. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take it easy. See you in the next one. Peace.